a very good morning my dear students this is your english teacher mrs astha gulati and today we are going to start with chapter number 10 children in your english grammar that is punctuation please take out your books in front of you as i always say to understand the chapter better we shall start now what do you mean by punctuation children anybody has an idea most of you okay let us recall what do you mean by punctuation punctuation children are the essential marks in a sentence that gives you the exact meaning or shows the exact meaning of a sentence okay that means if it's a question it shows the it, it is a question if it's a sentence it will show a sentence if it will be an exclamatory sentence it will be it shows an exclamation okay so let us begin with the first let's link it read the descriptions of punctuation marks and write their names in the ovals so the first one children i separate items on a list parts of a sentence and indicate a pause in a sentence so first one is a comma what does a comma do children a comma separates things if mama mummy will say please uh, bring a uh, flour uh, uh, bread pulses and gross uh, uh, milk etc from the market what will be just in between these items there will be a comma to show or separate the things from each other otherwise it will look like a the it is a same thing or uh, it's a continuation so a comma separates things from each other and shows that they are separate from each other okay and the next one i am used after something is said with force after a strong command or after strong feelings are expressed what do you mean by expressing a strong feeling or command wow when you are surprised you are stressing on the word wow okay please oh all these words children shows or expresses a strong feeling so when we say these types of words bravo like these so it shows an exclamatory sentence so we put an exclamation in these sentences now the third one i mark the end of a question and come at the end of a question tag when you ask a question what shows that it is a question the question mark shows the the sentence is a question how do you look how do i look where are you going whom did you meet okay so all these children the question sentences are having question marks to show that they are questions and the punctuation children it's very necessary but why at the end full stop and the commas to complete the sentences and for the punctuation for how you pronounce it where to stop in a sentence and the feelings everything is dependent on these punctuation marks why because these give the sentences a perfect meaning where will i stop i will keep on saying and saying and saying a sentence where should i stop where there is a break the sentence the commas the inverted commas the exclamation mark shows us where to stop okay we cannot speak and speak and speak why because they should have a break where to stop or to show something or to uh, separate things from each other okay so the fourth one is a uh, i mark the end of a sentence and follow most initials and abbreviations that is to mark the end of a sentence we put a full stop why do we put a full stop children if we will not put a full stop how do we know that the sentence is ending here if we did not put a full stop that means the sentence has not ended that is why it is very necessary to put a full stop last one i show ownership and missing letters in contractions how do you show ownership of something when we put an apostrophe when i said something we put double inverted commas 
when we uh, are using or uh, separating things from uh, a single item on a list or we have to quote something that has already been said we put a comma okay and it is always used before a question tag also okay so here children we come to the end of all these five punctuation marks on which we are talking about and what is punctuation now what do you mean by punctuation punctuation is the use of different marks and capital letters in writing to make the meaning of a sentence clear as i already told you the punctuation marks are very necessary to clear the meaning of the sentence it's it tells you where to stop where to start from and capital letters are very essential in the proper nouns or the beginning of the sentence should always be in a capital letter okay so we will start with the speech marks what do you mean by speech marks children speech marks are the marks or the punctuation marks which we when we say something okay like i would say i am here so what we will say astha said in what it come open and i am here astha said in what it come open i am here in what it come close and then a full stop so here please read the examples rita said comma i am late in the single inverted commas okay i am late in inverted commas and a comma said rita when you quote someone's saying children when a someone said a particular sentence and you want to show it as she said in the same words you have to quote it in single inverted commas the highlighted marks which are put around what is or has been said directly are speech marks it is already told you that i always tell you children whenever we say something that you exactly say the same thing is always put under the single inverted commas okay that means the person had said this and we are saying just exact words what is already been told but children what we have to put in mind and always keep in our minds is a comma is used just before or after speech marks as in the examples above i told you children there is a comma c and there is always speech marks means in front the beginning and the end of the sentence okay to separate direct quotes from the rest of the sentence okay direct quotes means what is being said will only be under the inverted commas the text within the speech marks always begins with a capital letter okay means the beginning what is said so i am here i said i will be always in capital letter why because it is the beginning of a sentence what i said and you are quoting it okay we will proceed towards more about the full stop what do you mean by full stop children we know it from the starting of our education that we have to put a Uh, full stop where we end a sentence so we will talk more about it if a sentence ends with an abbreviation abbreviation means short form no additional full stop is needed if the sentence requires a question mark or an exclamation mark it may be added after the full stop look at these examples we'll go to the next page page number 74 people must protect the environment from pollution comma deforestation comma etc when we are writing etc etc means everything other than uh, pollution and deforestation there is a comma and after the abbreviation there is a full stop okay so before the abbreviation there should always be a comma and then after that there will be a full stop that means the end of the sentence at the picnic comma may we sing comma dance comma paint comma etc then a full stop then there is a question mark also why because abbreviation then a full stop is needed children whenever you write etc or any other abbreviation which is you, which you need there is always a full stop and then you will put a question tag okay so a full stop always comes before a closing speech mark at the end of a sentence statement De declaration for example maya said comma 
it is maya said they are quoting the direct speech so single inverted comma i don't want to get wet in the rain first stop and then the bracket with or the comma double uh, single inverted comma will be closed okay so uh, here we come to the end of this video please uh, i will post the exercises in the third video children till then you will read the sentences you will read about all the punctuation marks and be ready for the second video thank you and all the best